10. Shot the car, 122. Pebbly Lane for another. Bullseye to win it in style. Bullseye is found Scott to win it in style. Well, it wasn't a classic match, but Scott Marsh beats Ben Payne by four legs to nil. It moves him on to six points in the group. Coming up next, Adam Paxton against Clue Bevan. Here for the break may just be a solitary dart of the bullseye. And the bullseye it is. Well, that was perfect. And maybe practice does make perfect. One of the I mean, just to confirm statistically what we're seeing here in this increased relevant performance from Bevan. 45. The average is now over 100. We're at 101.31 right now. And doesn't look like he's too far stretched. One of the and he's on the nine. What a turnaround this would be. Yesterday, he lost every single game. Today in game number one, he could take out the 41. biggest leg of them all. What a turnaround this would be. What a moment it would have been. But he just grazes the trouble 19 just above. But this is the important bit now, just to bring the heart rate down. He does that. He is on for a 10 dart. It would be our second 10 dart of the week. And last week. Yeah, it's almost... Lost its special nature now, hasn't it? Now we need to see two nine darters in a game. game shot on the fifth leg. But what a Adam shot Paxton. that is from Paxton. He's just took out the 112 and now the 170. The car the 160. But this to win the match. You've already seen Paxton hit a couple of ton toppers. Can Bevan finish off for the 120? Tots for the match and Tots for his first game win on the, the live Paul loud Bevan. stage this week. Clue Bevan with the W. He beats Adam Paxton by four legs to two in a real entertaining encounter. Paxton losing an average of 97.93. Bevan got out the gates quickly, threatened the nine. Paxton was on the comeback charge, those couple of tub plus outs, including the fish. Bevan beats Paxton for two, and that means now the door has opened up for Cam Crabtree. If he beats Mike Warburton, he'll move two points clear, and he'll play Paxton in the second round of fixtures. We add into the 24. five ton plus checkouts he took out yesterday. And so Warburton, free in hand at double 12 to move 3-2 in front, and there was no the mistake. Play. There was Mike never Warburton. going to be a mistake. His hardest two fixtures on paper were his first two, and it looks like he's about to lose the first of them. Because you do not expect 45. Mike, Mike Warburton 32. to pass up three opportunities at 32. Crabtree realistically needs him to miss six. And it's Are a win for Warburton. Warburton. It's six of the best for the Welshman, who opens up a six-point gap at the top of the table. It just seems who's going to take the reins in this race for the second place. It's like nobody what wants it. Way? It's like they all want it too much. Nine darts thrown here, though, for Bevan to leave himself on 81. This is what he's capable of. This is what we warned you of at the start of the day. Climb the car, 81. Far, far better than the results suggested yesterday. And he looks like he's going to set this up nicely for three darts at the double for back-to-back -back victories. First one was 4-2 against Adam Paxton. This one could be even better against Marsh. And again, the number's really good. Averaging in excess of 90 again. Average 91.5... Against Paxton, was 4 for 41. 9 on his doubles. That's improved as well in this contest. If he pins it first time, it'll be 50%. And it'll be a 13 data to win this game. game and indeed it will be. Bevan. And it's a double success for Cleo Bevan on this Friday afternoon. He beats Scott Marsh by four legs to one. Another average in excess of 90. 50% on the doubles, but Scott Marsh has got a lot of work to do here. He won his first one, loses the second one, but it's the... Numbers which are going to be the big concern for him. Coming up after the break, we are going to watch Ben Payne take on Mike Warburton. He's 62 points away. Doesn't need to be looking at the 12. Just going to set it up. And he's 33. one successful dart away from guaranteeing that he will join Wesley Plazier on Saturday night. Well, he was almost at times the forgotten man in Group 100. A despite playing so Mind well. He is stuck to his guns in Group C and he looks like now he's going to get his awards. Double 16 for a place in the final. 
Double eight. And we're going to see Mike on Saturday night. Warburton qualifies for the finale, and he does so in sumptuous style. Look what it means to Mike Warburton. Done with a minimum of fuss. A 4-0 win against Ben Payne, restricting his opponent to no darts at a double. It was no fuss for Warby. He's going to be through. He's done the bread and butter for the race for second place. Well, it comes to fruition right here, right now. Huge game for Adam Paxton and Cam Crabtree. P2, P3, or go to toe, uh, go, uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe on six points apiece. And I'm going to go and knock my teeth out and then put them back in again. Top as a he took out against him yesterday here. This would hurt. Oh, bullseye. Oh, Game my. Adam oh, my, indeed. Come to car, 67. It all comes down to this. 67 to stay in it. He's going to get two in his hand at double eight. One left. Don't go. 59. He Adam knows the significance of that miss. And he knows that his opponent is three from three on the doubles. And he knows that this is a huge Adam win Paxton. for Adam Paxton. And it is Pac-Man who's in pole position. And he looks in such a good suit now to progress his way through to tomorrow night's final. He beats Cam Crabtree in another enthralling affair. Four legs to one. Four for four, the doubles, including that 1-6-1 one -one checkout. For Cam Crabtree, he is in severe danger of not making it through. Paxton's in the box seat. Warburton against Bevan comes up after this. Now, Warburton on a two data. But Bevan should get a dart at least at the ball. The ball it is. Oh, Enjoy magnificent. Oh, Beautifully pinned into the bottom of the ball. And Bevan breaks. Six. Tops for the match. Is that awkward? Moves across. Open better double ten. He'll probably prefer this. He loves it. And he's loving Game life on Friday Cloud in the Bevan. Super Series. What a compare and contrast it's been for Cloud Bevan. He beats Mike Warburton by four legs to two. He was five from five in the defeats column yesterday. He's three from three in the wins column today. And he becomes the first player to depose of Mike Warburton in this group. That is how an 88 average, four from six on the doubles. He staved off the mid-match flurry from Warby coming up after the break. Well, this is a huge game. If Scott Marsh can get the better of Adam Paxton, we've got three players on eight points. It's a huge match of huge consequences. If Paxton wins this, you sense that he is at a Oh, so comfortable position to progress. Huge moment. He's eight points away from being on eight points and from keeping himself in contention. He's getting closer. But he Four. cannot find a way. Car, 62. And Paxton may get the ultimate reprieve here. He's been so good on his doubles and he's going to get a match-winning chance here, Phil. He's going to get two. And he and only needs the, the one. Adam and Adam Paxton has used his trump card there because Scott Marsh put him right under it. He had three match darts to win the game. And look at that. It's relief more than anything on the face of Adam Paxton. It puts him back in pole position. And it now forces Cam Crabtree to win because if he doesn't, it's pretty much over. We're going to be back with him and Ben Payne after this short break. I've been waiting for this Ben Payne to arrive all week. But this would absolutely sting. It's the ball for Crabtree. Oh, Game wow. He needed Come a country. moment. And there is the spark. Get the job done. Tots of the match. Game what the match. a Crabtree. performance from Cam Crabtree. And it may well be enough to keep him in the mix. Well, that's as good as it's been for him all week. 103.33 is as good as it's been for Ben Payne all week. Carries on like that, then the last couple of games could well be fortuitous for him. But Crabtree, with another brilliant performance, he needed it after the poor start to the day that he had made. He gets the better of Ben Payne by four legs to one, averaging 103.33. Fourth on six on the doubles, including the 167, one of two 12 darters he had in the contest. And so we head to the final couple of rounds.
100. He's down, he's in Mind range. 60. But first, he's got to dodge match darts from Warburton. He's had a dart at the bullseye already to get the job done. He will get two more. James and he Sean only the needs Mike the one. Warburton. Mike Warburton with his eighth win in nine. Beats, Mike, uh, beats Scott Marsh by four legs to three. And again, they went all the way to a last leg decider. Warburton winning out in the end. Now with the real big games really do come thick and fast. It's Clue Bevan against Cam Crabtree. Crabtree has to win. And we're going to watch that game in motion after this short break. Another big one here. Double 19. Oh game my goodness, it's way. another Come sucker country. punch. Four way coming through first. Game on. We don't know whether it's going to be too late. But goodness, game I've 61. left. He decided that the bullseye was not the option. And he was correct in his thinking. And so Crabtree will come 89. back for tops here for a 4-0 win. He's Game got the eye of the tiger. He's a 13 data. And Cam Crabtree just keeps asking the questions. Whether he'll get the answers to him, we don't know. But he's keeping Adam Paxton on his toes all the way. He, since Paxton's fourth free win against Marsh, has won eight legs with a concession of just one. He goes above Paxton in the table, courtesy of that win by one leg on legs difference. And I tell you now, Adam Paxton will be about to leave the practice room as we speak. And he will see that on his monitor. And he has a big game against Ben Payne after this break, as this race for second place continues to intensify. And so Paxton's going to come 59. back for a 4 0 win, an average just under 97. It forces Crabtree to win his last game. Adam Paxton is on the cusp. Pac-Man is almost there. He can almost taste the sounds, the sights of Saturday night. What a performance. Under that pressure, under that spotlight, he beats Ben Payne by four legs to nil. And it means that Crabtree doesn't, have, doesn't just have to win this next game. You sense he's going to have to win it big. And he takes on Scott Marsh after this short break. 80. Come to car, one Maybe the biggest one of his Tom Plus checkouts, if he gets. This is crunch time again for Crabtree. He's going to get a dart at the ball to make it 3-0. Marsh watches on in the background. And he's going to get a chance. Got the car, 40. Marsh gets topped. Third, like Marsh. And now Crabtree has to win each of the last two. Fourth leg, Scott to through first. Game on. Come now more car, than 74. ever, needs to find a combo finish. This really has now or never written all over it. It's two at double 16. He gets it Come first Crabtree. dart. He's been put in the well so many times today, but he just keeps Six conjuring up with something. First. However, he has to break the Marsh darts here is Cam's big moment, double 16, big dart. 32. That could be Shot the miss. 70. That could be the miss. Marsh has piled the pressure on and now he's gonna get a chance to square us up, but that's a 45. 45 leads 25. Crabtree cannot look. I bet Adam Paxton cannot look. It's double eight. Oh, yeah, sure that could place. be Stop it. Marsh. That could be it. He may want out of him. He misses this 41. Double 16. Two eights. 25. He's had four darts to Got win this game. And now Marsh comes back to win it. He should get a dart. He should get one dart at tops. To win this game and to send Adam Paxton through. Crabtree looks away. 45. Kamukar, 16. Now both players have had a dart for it. Paxton's effectively had a dart to go through there. This is to keep himself in it. 
Double eight is found. And Crabtree is still in it, but just. Adam Paxton needs three legs against Mike Warburton to confirm his place into tomorrow night's final. A heart there, bit of love to someone. He looks deflated. He thinks he knows that his fate is a negative one. Crabtree four, Marsh three. After the break, Warburton against Paxton. With dart one or dart two, you fancy him to get the tops. And that dart one is sat perfectly. He's hardly missed a double all day. And Are he doesn't sure miss one Adam there. Paxton. For 2-2. Two, two. And Paxton is sat waiting. It's double 10. It's a massive moment. It's a massive sure dart. We're Matt back to 2-2. Two, two. Out of your car, 24. To do it in style. To do it the right way. To say that no one else could do no more. Double six. Getting shot on the match. Adam what Paxman. a couple of days it's been for Adam Paxman. Pac-Man, who said he was a Super Series fanboy, will experience his Super Series dream. He's going to be here on a Saturday night, and he's going to be in with a chance of being a Champions League player. He can breathe now. He can be relieved now. He beats Mike Warburton by four legs to two. Goodness me. What drama we've had. And we can now breathe. We can now breathe. Ben Payne against Clue Bevan doesn't really have anything more than who's going to finish fourth or fifth. Payne well, gets fine. to throw on the Super Series stage for this series. Because Bevan looks at double eight. Game to get the win and to seal a 4 0 success right to the very end of the day. He beats Ben Payne to nil, who showed some encouraging signs in his performances today. And I hope that he will head back to Uckfield and will reflect upon his experiences. And hopefully we'll see him back as a better player next time around. But Clue Bevan wins 4 nil. The story of the group, Mike Warburton is the victor. But Adam Paxton on debut is through. And we're going to chat to him next. Well, what a dramatic afternoon at the live lounge in Portsmouth. So for Mike Warburton, it was a bit of a breeze in the end. Top of the table, 16 points to his name. But Adam Paxton had to work to get second spot. Pippi Cam Crabtree in the penultimate game of the session to progress his way through on debut. And he joins us here in the studio now. Well, Adam, just describe the emotional roller coaster you must have gone through today. Yeah, definitely. I was uh, coming into this morning. I thought I, I haven't. I did. I wasn't very happy how I played yesterday. Obviously, I was in a good position in the league table. Uh, losing first game, I thought that that might really trouble me. Uh, and then winning against Cam, and then struggled in the next couple of games. Uh, I'm just so happy to finally get through. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Quite strange, to be fair. Well, this is the end of your game against Cam. He's back here for 67 to make it 3-2. Spurns these darts at double eight. And then we've mentioned it actually before we spoke to you. Your doubles today were so good. Up until that last game, you're around about the 77% mark. That really was the key point, wasn't it? Yeah, as I say, I wasn't very happy with my scoring yesterday at all. Uh, normally, my game is quite steady down and then doubles... Um, 100 down, I fancy my chances going out. Uh, so I'm glad today that it it came in and it, the, uh, the game started, the doubles went in and I was able to get over the lines, especially in those key moments. Like I think I had a 170, a 161, a 120. Those were the big shots at the big time. So I was, I was happy that they, uh, they fell in when I needed them. Talk to me about the nerves of those last few games, because you could only be human to really feel it up there. Well, could, could you not see them? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't feel nervous whilst I was playing. Uh, the same as when I played uh, Mike Warburton first game on yesterday. I, I didn't feel nervous when I was playing, but a lot of nervous darts were thrown. Uh, I felt like I was throwing good darts, and then it was five or a one, and it was like, come on, Adam, you, you, what's going on? Uh, but yeah, towards the end, they were all talking backstage about who needs so many legs because Clue Bevan was coming back into it. Scott Marsh was playing well. Obviously, Cam was right on the tail. Uh, and I was just trying to block myself out. think, Adam, if you win, you're through. Uh, so that's what I was trying to do. 
Did you know the situation going into the last game that you needed three legs or was it just go up to win? We were trying to work it out before Cam played. Uh, but the, the ultimate situation was, Adam, if you win, mm -hmm. you're through. Uh, they were trying to work out legs and... To be fair, they weren't making much sense. <laughs> so uh, I, I just said, Adam, I, I literally shut off and ignored all of them. I was practicing by myself, uh, went up on the stage and thought, win and you're through. Didn't, didn't bother about legs, didn't try working it out. Normally, I'm very statistical. I love how many tons of it, 140s. I'm really nerdy like that. Uh, but I just thought, go up there and win. That's However it happens, 100 average. 50 average, I'm not bothered. I want to get there tomorrow. Put it this way, if it was 4-2 to Warburton, the whole group would have gone down to overall average hits of you and Cam. That was how tight it was. And I'd have lost, apparently, so by 0 0.015 or 0 0.15 or something. Like that, yeah. So, yeah. I just want to talk about the mentality there of Adam, because your player is very much new to the scene, very much inexperienced, particularly in environments like this, but he speaks like somebody who's been around the block for a while. It's what you want to do. As a player, you don't want to go up there and think, I only need two legs. You're making a small goal within the goal. You're making a task within the task. The challenge should always be the same. Whenever you walk on that stage, you go on that stage to win. So why go up there with something smaller in mind? Go up there, win the game, win on points. That is the first deciding factor. You don't need to worry about averages, head-to-head -head records, all these other permutations if points are in your column. And that was the situation for Adam. He went up there to win it, and he did. What is Cam going to be? feeling right now it'll be good it'll be disappointed the minimum expectation now every time cam crabtree comes into the super series is that he is going to go through to a saturday night at a bare minimum and he missed out in group a ended up dropping into group c he'll be disappointed with that as part of it but then not only to drop into a group c but then to not qualify through will be disappointed but this has been a very very good group c at least he gets to take home a pack of Harry Bows, I suppose. That's the only thing he can take away from this week. Right, let's have a look at the results for today. We'll have a chat with you in a second, Ad. And this is what we've seen then on this Friday afternoon at the uh, Live Lounge. A dramatic afternoon. And let's be honest, we thought after game two, we could be down right the way to the line. And that turned out to be the case. It, we got what we thought may happen today, a tight finish, but not in the way that we expected it. The middle part of the day really summed that up there. When we look at Adam Paxton's results, the, not only the win against Crabtree, but the one against Scott Marsh. Scott Marsh did miss those match opportunities. And then Paxton on 62. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, a 62 finish. It doesn't sound as flashy as maybe the 170 he took earlier on or the 161. But that 62 was massive. Because had that first dart not gone in the treble, it had been one dart of the double you sort of got the same situation there as a tumblers checkout. It doesn't sound a lot. It's only singles to it, but the main story at the end is that one dart of the double. That treble 10 was huge. Maybe the biggest dart of the day. I'm going to bring both of you in on this. We're going to show you the tournament bracket. I'll, I'll bring you in first, Adam, because when you saw that list of players at the, at the beginning of the week, what was your first thoughts and first impressions? I'll be honest. I, I know that I've been playing quite well. Uh, I was confident coming here I was confident walking in uh, I didn't know who was coming in I, you hear whispers in and amongst players uh, but then yeah you look at the group A there's three pro tour semi-finalists just a couple of weeks back group B is absolutely terrifying and then those coming in from group A to ours you've got the English bout holder Hulu Bevan just won the Welsh National a couple of days ago and obviously Cam uh, and then Ben Payne as well so it's yeah, it's a terrifying lineup in a, on on paper. But I, I I was confident in my own game. I was I was confident that I could get through. Uh, I haven't played how I would like to have done, but I'm I'm through. So I I, I know tomorrow there's is semi-finals, group stage, anything can happen. So yeah. In terms of tomorrow, in terms of the expectations, have you let anything get in mind or are you just going to take this experience as it comes? I'm on debut, so I'd say I'd be silly if I thought I'm going to get through to tomorrow, especially this week. Uh, but equally, as I say, I'm confident. So I, I, would, I would be disappointed if I didn't turn up tomorrow and didn't put a good uh, account to myself. So, yeah. What will be will be. It's a game, isn't it? So uh, anything can happen on the night. 
and to get through to a final debut. You d actually did it here, Matt, didn't you? And you made your debut. It's a, it's a special. It's always like a justification, isn't it, of everything? It's vindication as well. Like Adam just said there, he said he's confident. He's confident in his ability. He's confident in how well he's been playing. But then in the next breath, he's telling you the accolades and the achievements of all the other players. And that's what you do. You tend to look at those other players because he's done that, he's done that. Well, now Adam's qualified and they haven't. So that just justifies the confidence. It backs up that. And then with that becomes more confidence, more belief, more desire to get out there and compete and take what they've got. And that's where Adam's probably going to be going now in regards to his career. He's going to be a threat tomorrow. Let's just have another quick look back at the tournament brackets. We've got Group B coming up later on this evening. Now, Aidan Cook looks as if he's in a very good position to make it through. It feels like it's all about that middle three. Yeah, I was really impressed with Aidan Kirk last night. I would love to see him follow that up and really sort of rubber stamp that performance. But yeah, it's a three-way sort of split for two places, you feel. Harry Gregory, we saw the issues that he had last night. I don't expect that to be fixed over 24 hours. So it does look like it's three for two. So that is the Group B action, which is going to get underway from 10 o'clock this evening. But the final word, Adam, goes to you now. You've had quite the year this year. Nine data on the ADC tour. You've picked up a few scalps here and there. Where does this all compare to that? I'll keep riding the wave. I'm a, I'm a realist. I know where my game's at. I know where I can go, which is in and amongst the best. But at the same time, I know I, I can be beaten by anybody. So uh, see what happens tomorrow. Well, many congratulations for making it through, Adam. Some great darts this week. Great yeah. to see you play, Matt. We're going to do it again tonight. It might be just as dramatic, you know. I don't expect anything different. It's going to be a real, real tight race tonight. Well, thank you for your coming, Matt. Adam, many congratulations. We'll see you from 10 o'clock this evening on the Super Series YouTube channel to see who is going to make it through Group B. Well, Warby made it bread and butter as far as getting out of Group C is concerned. But as for Pac-Man, well, he found another level and he's into the end game.